Good, good, good. Sunday morning, everybody. Let's go ahead and make some uh, French bread here, and let's have some uh, let's have some breakfast. Let me see if I can put this. Maybe get this camera situated a little better here. I got to be able to see the chat. There we go. I think that's a little better. See most everything here so good morning to all of you if i miss the side chat uh you know it's apologies apologies ahead of time i want to go ahead this morning and i want to be able to we're going to have spaghetti tonight and i want to be able you know i have my own sauce that i made from the tomatoes that missy jen grew and that always makes it really nice our own sauce for spaghetti so i'm going to go ahead and make a little bread to go with that Hey Amanda, nice to see you. Happy birthday to you. Amanda May's birthday today. I got the last of this Bob's Red Mill flour that I'm going to be using here. I'm gonna find my flour container. Where the hell did that go? Oh shit. Everything's down low in my friggin' back. So, welcome into the Rancho Kitchen, everybody. Got my uh, Cuisinart mixer set up. We're gonna get a little dough going. Here, I gotta find me dough hook. You can tell that's been a really well used dough hook there. And we're going to start with, um, we're going to make a nice size loaf here. Going to have four cups. We're going to start with this. I like to use the Bob's Bread Mill, the Artisan Bread. This stuff is really good stuff. Really good for making bread. Put it in. So I had one cup left of that, which is fine. Oh boy. We are making some French bread. What are you doing for your birthday today? I think you said you're going over your mom and dad's or something. So I'm going to use, uh, we're also going to make breakfast right now. I just need to make, uh, I need to make some bread. I may do... I think I'll make a big loaf here. We can always cut it in half and freeze it. So I'm putting four cups of flour in there. Yeah. Hey, good morning. Who's that? Hey, Mr. Grinch. Nice to see you. I'm going, yeah, that's good. Okay. Your dog is hanging around the door. Yeah, the dog's always looking around. He's always wondering what I got cooking over here. So into that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt. All right. Put our dough hook on here. And this, this mixer is old and blown out, so it doesn't want to stay down when you're running it here, which I don't really like. So welcome to all of you into the kitchen. <clears throat> We're going to leave that out because we're going to be making some waffles for breakfast. I need to pre-start this uh, bread. I want to heat up a little bit of water to lukewarm here. Hey, Tara, good morning to you. Amanda May's birthday. Go heat up a little bit of... Uh, Heat up a little bit of water, just get it lukewarm here. Don't want to kill the yeast. And uh, yeah, nice to see y'all. And I like to use these uh, Fleischmann's Active Dry Yeast. These things are really good. You can just cut off one of these. I wish they perforated these. It would be a lot easier, but they don't. Cut one of these off. Use this. And when you're making traditional French bread, it used to be by law until France joined the EU. 
You were only allowed to use four ingredients. Good morning, Larson. Nice to see you. You were only allowed to use flour, water, salt, and yeast by law. There's the Missy over there. Good morning. We're going to go ahead and put one of these uh, rapid rise yeasts in here. These are real nice to use. I have my other baking yeast, the commercial, which is fine. This stuff's just a little faster. Here, I need to get uh, two or three rises out of this bread to really make it good today. Son of a bitch, get in there. There we go. All right, let's check that. Uh, yeah. Let's check that water a little bit. Make sure that's uh, a little too hot. We'll add some cold back to that. Yeah, and we should have the perfect temperature here for adding some water to the yeast. So, four ingredients, guys. Traditional French bread. Italian bread, sometimes they'll add olive oil to it. They'll, they'll do some other things. So, let's go ahead and get this, start to combine that. That just gives a start to our dry ingredients to combine now. Go ahead now and start adding our, take one more temperature check. Yeah, that's good. Let's go ahead and add, we'll start with about a cup of water here. Very easy to make, but it is technique. Okay, we'll start that slowly and start combining that. start to pull the flour from the sides here. Just kind of help it along with the spatula. Just stop it, raise it up, push down the flour on the sides. Real easy. Get that all combined real good. Welcome in. We're making bread. Take a look. Hey, Chick, how you doing? Give you guys a look down there. Let's turn that around. It's Amanda May's birthday today. Hey, Sambo. Get that. You can see the way that's starting to come together now. I'm gonna stop that and add a little more. Add a little more liquid to that. Actually, that's pretty good right there. I'm just going to add one more little bit of liquid there. I don't want to overdo it on the liquid. Let's go ahead and restart it. Go ahead. I got to sit this uh, get this camera right. <laughs> Guys, we're getting right down to the bottom view right there. Trick is we want to work this for about five or ten minutes. Get all that gluten activated. Make sure this is nice and stretchy. By the time it's done, it'll stop sticking to the side of the bowl. We can add a little more flour if we have to. Yeah, this really does a nice job. Yeah, the Lisa, yeah, hey, Strikey Poo Elvis says that mixer costs more than the Lisa Marie. Yeah, I got this, and the problem with this mixer, the reason I got it cheap is because it doesn't stay down. The lock mechanism doesn't work. Yeah, Sambo said after 50, all you get for your birthday is wrinkles. That's pretty funny. I'm going to stop that a minute. 
bear with me. And you can see the way that rises up. But already you can see that that dough is starting to get a little bit uh, stretchy there. So I'm going to go stick this in the back corner here. Get you guys back on camera. Oh boy. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more flour to that. This will be a nice big loaf. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Okay. Let's go ahead and add some flour back to that. let that rest for a couple minutes I think we've got the right amount that we need oh, in there so you got to let it rest between got to give it one rest for about a minute or so let that gluten kind of become activated there so it's gonna be good I got this nice I bought this nice big Pyrex bowl look at that I think I only paid eight dollars for that Isn't that nice Nice size Pyrex bowl. I sit that over here on the counter. We're going to let the bread rise in that today. Let that relax a little. Let's feel that bread. That bread feels, that dough feels good. On there, it feels like it's really the right consistency. So we'll let that sit for a minute. And uh, let's see what you guys are about here. See what you guys are about here. Sambo in the house. Can you imagine we got Sambo here today? Sambo. Add two scoops of <laughs> Add two scoops of Madame Musil. Can you imagine that? Actually, we use Citrusel here. How's that, Sambo? How about that? Huh? Does that get the Sambo seal of approval there? That sandboat's like once you're 50, man, it's all over. <laughs> Good morning, Lynn. Nice to see you, Toro Grande. Buenos dias, mi amigo. Buenos dias, Toro Grande. In the house. We'll try seeing that, perching that right up there. Maybe that'll stay there. There we go. Good morning, uh, Marshall. We're making some uh, making some French bread here this morning. Flour, water, salt, and yeast. That's it. That's used to be by law the only way that you could make French bread. Ready to get to that side here is hot. Yeah, I bet you got to get the hell out of Florida, man. You got to get the hell out of Florida. All right, let's go ahead. That rested for a minute. Thank you, Andrea. Yeah, 
Last night was a little tough. Last night was tough because, you know, when you drink a lot, your back, like, relaxes when you go to bed. And then, oh, my God, like, about 3 a.m., it was like, oh, I went to, it's, ooh, hurt like a mofo. We want to make sure we keep whipping this till this comes off without being sticky at all. Yeah, I imagine it's getting hot and flurry now. Hot and flurry now. a second and check it out you can see the way that that's stuck to the uh, dough hook I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands here <clears throat> I like to have things nice and clean right all your good training in the kitchen all right there we go let's give a uh, try on that see if that comes off the dough hook pretty good Seems to. It just needs a couple more minutes, and I think that's it. That should be about it. You can see that's uh, it's still kind of sticky. We need to uh, we need to beat that some more. Okay, we want to make sure that that's really not sticking when that comes off. That's the real test of when a uh, when a dough is ready. We're gonna let that go a couple more minutes. I know it's loud. Then I can go ahead and start breakfast. We're gonna have waffles this morning. Gonna have waffles. Sambo likes waffles. <laughs> that's gonna do it now you want to beat that real good because you loosen up all that gluten those strands of gluten and that helps it rise really really rapidly so that comes off the dough hook pretty good I'm pretty happy about that go ahead and clean this off very simple to do yeah definitely very labor-saving if you look at some of the old Julia Child videos from the French chef, some of the really early stuff from the 60s and 70s, she takes it and slaps it down on the counter and beats the hell out of it. Funny to see some of those old sunbeam mixers too that they used to have. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get our 
board here. Go ahead and turn that out on the board. That's holding together pretty good. Get that right there. We can kind of shape that a little bit. Kind of work that. And you can see it's not really sticking to my hands now, so that shows it's the right it's the right consistency. So we just shape that into a ball. And then I'm going to take some of the spray, cooking spray here, and just spray this bowl. Okay. Then we're going to, we're going to drop this into the bowl, just like that. And that's going to rise today a couple times. That's going to yield up some really delicious bread for tonight. Uh, hey, what is that? A 500 yen? I don't know what the hell that means, Callie. Uh, girl, you talking riddles. Get some waffles made, huh? That's next on the agenda, the waffles. I gotta store my mixer on the back porch. I don't have any room. Here. Place is on a lot of land, but it's a small. It's got a few buildings, but it's uh, it's all land, you know. And I like to clean as I go. It makes it a lot easier. There's Missy Jen. We're going to get some waffles going if you want to get at the waffle maker. Mm -hmm. Down there. Uh, yeah, I'm done with that. I can put yeah. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Let me get yeah. the door. Sit that sucking thing outside. I hate that. I'm going to get the KitchenAid 800 Pro. Alright. Lazy Sunday fun day. Hey, Dill. Go for a walk, drinking ramen, seven up there. Well, you're young. You can afford to do that on a uh, on a morning. So we're going to cover that with some aluminum. Why the signal's bad here? The signal's coming and going. There it is. There. We're going to cover that. I need get a hot kimono. Huh? Go ahead and cover that. Missy Jen's going to get the waffle maker out and spray that top and bottom with some of the some of the professional spray. Right here, just a little bit. Let me open that up. Get that. You can. Uh, I got everything now. All right. We got our waffle maker. This is uh, this. This is a real nice one. This is like the uh, Belgian style waffle. Really nice. and plug that in, let that get nice and hot. Yeah. You should always remember to move the dog's bowl, bowl when I start working here. Cover up this, cover up the dough. Let that rise today. We're going to sit that back out on the back table, but I don't want it to overheat in the sun. Could be a mistake. All right. Degrading. I think we'll put it over here. All right. Take care, Amanda. Have a good uh, have a good birthday. Okay. All right. This is a little better. There we go. I can actually see you guys out there now. plug that in a little bit too. We'll run the battery down because we want to eat uh, we want to eat breakfast with you guys too. Let me plug this mofo in.
Hey, Keith Gregory. K. Carl. Tell you, if you haven't been on a hangout with Carl, he makes it funny as hell. He is so fucking funny, Carl. All right, there we go. I think that's a little better now. Carl's always funny as hell. All right, so we got our waffle maker plugged in. This is the Black & Decker Belgian waffle maker. I think I got it for $2 years ago over at the uh, Salvation Army. Cleaned it up really thoroughly. And it's been running great. It has been running fantastic. Fantastico. So let's go ahead and have some Belgian waffles here. All right, so let's get our mixing bowl. All right, I like to use these. Uh, I like to use these big stainless jobs. These are nice. Who's the stainless steel MSF? I think this is 18.8 stainless. Yeah, almost a five-liter bowl here. Very good. Let's go ahead and add a couple cups of. Flour, all-purpose flour here. Let's go ahead and add that. We go through a lot of flour here. One, as you can imagine, all the all the baking that we do here every week. Here's number two. Okay. Happy to have you guys along today. Nice to see Keith Gregory, Pride of the Navy there. U-S-N-R-E-T. right back. Got my hat. Kind of keep the uh, this fucking wig here from getting in my eye. Let's go ahead to that. We're gonna add about two cups of flour there. Gonna add a pinch of salt to that, and we're gonna get our baking powder. Very important to use good baking powder. Generally, I like to use the non-aluminum. The Rumsford is not aluminum, but my store didn't have it last time I went there. So, that kind of stuff. We're going to use one, one teaspoon of that. You should stay away from aluminum as much as possible. going to be using a little bit of uh, pure vanilla extract too. You guys are finally getting some decent weather around the country, huh? Then we want to add a tablespoon of sugar too. I'm not real I'm not real careful about measuring out ingredients. There's too many years of baking, too many years of scratch baking. Okay, so make sure that's combined. It's uh, boys Boys and girls really seem to like this part, combining. <laughs> shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. You need to get that combined real thoroughly. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pop our two eggs in. Here goes number two. All right, 
there goes number two. We'll wash our hands again. We're almost getting close to waffle time. Sunny and warm, that's nice. Sunny and warm, finally in Michigan, warming up a little bit, huh? We're gonna have to go ahead and add about half a teaspoon. I think we'll make these, Jen, you want coconut, almond, or vanilla flavor? Coconut, almond, or vanilla? Coconut flavor. So let's go ahead and make them coconut flavor for Missy Jen today. And we've got our coconut extract here. Okay, let me go ahead and add that. My, let me see that. Sometimes I can bring the side chat back. Sometimes I can't. Some, next time somebody posts, it'll show up. I missed what you posted. We're going to use a teaspoon of coconut extract. Oh, this stuff. Uh, my Louis game to make the Indian fry right now. Oh, all right, cool. That's great. Love to see that. Awesome. Your Louis. That'd be cool. I'd love to see that. Meanwhile, the red light is the orange light is gone out on our uh, on our Black and Decker waffle maker there. Let me got some put some butter on the table. B -b 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 butter, B -b 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 butter. Uh, Yeah, I thought that you bought, I thought that you had another, uh, yeah, you do. I'll have to put that one in the Country Crock Original. Sorry, I like to use butter on mine. All right. Getting a few things out on the table. We need to get some milk, too. We're going to add in, just eyeball, about a half a cup of uh, milk. And then we're going to bring this all together here. We need to put a little bit of oil in too. You need to have some fats in. We're going to use about uh, three tablespoons of oil there. Okay? A little bit more. Got to have oil. You got to have some fat in there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and now combine this. Get all combined good. Add a little more milk here. Just enough to make a nice batter. Nothing that difficult about doing scratch baking. And they don't have all those wicked ingredients that uh, preservatives and crap that you get out of that you get out of other baked product. Don't overbeat it. That's a really good looking that's a really good looking batter right there. That's what you want. Do not overbeat it or you make a very tough waffle. Okay. We're done with that. Go ahead. Just guys, so you guys know, you know my recipe for waffles now. Uh, okay, so our batter is ready to go. We just let that set for a second there. Do a little more cleanup. Get a cup of coffee here. Our friend Roxanne has sent us this beautiful set of uh, spatulas and stuff. Excellent. Hey, good morning, everybody, from the Rancho Kitchen. Doing some Belgian style waffles today, coconut flavor. Okay, so let me go grab my coffee cup here. Uh, and we're drinking Hills Brothers coffee, Hill Brothers coffee today. Don't be fooled by the peach. You think I'm paying for peach coffee? <laughs> it's rosy, guys, right? 
Best coffee is the one that you're buying. <laughs> what am I fucking nuts? <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Let's get a uh, let's get a plate. We're gonna start stacking our waffles up on the plate here. Damn it, that hurts. Shit. Uh, thank you, Andrew. He says, I love your laughter, Rosie. I love to laugh, honey. Let's go ahead and uh, pour myself a cup of coffee here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay some waffles down here. How about that? Let's try to get the, uh, try to get the camera a little better positioned on that. We don't need the sky cam here. Uh, one of my fucking Martha Stewart, really? From Turkey Hill? <laughs> uh, this camera connection is like shit. This phone connection is like crap here. Martha Stewart. Another jailbird. All right, let's see if we can get you guys a better angle over here. Let's see if we can get you back over here. Might be okay. We got our waffle maker right there. Might be able to see that a little better. Down there. Let's start making some waffles. And not blue waffles, baby. Regular waffles sometimes i have a tendency ah that corner sucks man that connection's lousy in there let's see this thing's smoking baby there is smoke coming up on that let's go ahead and let's go ahead and drop some waffles here all right let that kind of spread out a little bit there you see that kind of walk the dog Walk the dog, baby. We can kind of lower the, uh, let's get a little more down that side. Lower the top and fire away, fire in the hole. We don't want to over cook them and turn them. We want them to have some crisp on them. <clears throat> Sometimes you can, before you put the top down, you can take a little bit of a uh, turbinado sugar and put that on top too. That makes it really nice. We'll let that uh, let that cook in there real good, and we'll make a stack of waffles here. This is my this is my day to kind of eat a little bit. Sorry about this fucking connection sucks here. I'm about to put you guys. Missy Jen, uh, you know, she, she puts up with me, Andre, I have to tell you the truth, it's like, uh, you know, she, right. <laughs> like living with a comedian and shit, right? Missy Jen's like all German and serious, right? And Rosie's like all Irish, Spanish, French, German, you know, like, a, like the worst mix you can have. <laughs> <laughs> she puts up with it, you know. So we got our uh, we got our waffle in there. It's firing away. Want to make sure it's uh, uh, the steam stops rising. Uh, I know, Angel, honey. I'm the devil. I am the devil. Devil, the devil, the D E B I L. Is your sink steaming? No, this uh, Susie, the uh, waffle maker, is putting up steam here. Oh boy. Okay. As soon as that stops steaming a bit, we'll take a uh, we'll take a peek at that. And we're gonna position the camera over to the table. We'll sit down and have ourselves. We'll get a little 
is my grandmother used to say, we'll get a purchase on these waffles, okay? Y'all sit down and get a purchase on them waffles I made. Yeah, that's a very, that's a very nice looking first waffle right there. So we'll sit that down on the plate and we'll fire in number two here. That's a beautiful looking waffle right there. Okay, comes number two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Waffle number two. I think I'll get a little bit of foil to put over these to keep it warm here. She walks like an angel, walks like an angel, like an angel. There's a devil in disguise. Do, 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 do. There's the devil in the sky. All right. Hey, donate nation require heart of gold. You ever notice most girls with really big boobs have really big hearts too? Did you ever notice that? <laughs> Draw you to my ample bosom here. <laughs> All right. So we're, you know what we'd be doing? We'd be making waffles this morning. We'd be making waffles, baby. Making waffles. Kick, see if we can cook, kick out four nice waffles here. This recipe should yield uh, four decent uh, Belgian waffles. So you're going to use a half a cup of flour per waffle here. Is there anybody in there? <laughs> Is there anyone at home? Stand up, stand up, stand up. Is there a little pinprick? Ah, <laughs> there'll be no more. Ah! All right. All right, we be making waffles, guys. Making waffles. There's Missy Jen. She's smelling that coconut in the air. There'll be waffles everywhere. Do, 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 do. Waffles in the air. She loves that coconut smell. Do, 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 do. And it's something that I do, 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 do. I'm going to just make all the waffles and stick them on a plate there. Huh? That's good for me. Morgan. <laughs> Guten, Tag. Guten Tag, yeah, something like that. Tell her to come to the camera for a second. They want that. Andrea said you better get your ass over to the camera. Say hi. Say hi there, Missy Jen. Love me some Rosie for breakfast. Where's There's my sister. There it is. Andrea. There she is. She's in there. We'd be making waffles this morning. And these are really nice ones. Okay. Here comes number two out. Okay, I'm just going to stack these bad boys up. We're going to drop number three I can't now. Let's see what they're saying. Yeah, I'll tell you in a second, Jen. It's too small. Mm. She said, Kisses, sis. I hope you feel better. Kisses. Hope you're doing good too. Hey, Susie. Susie said, uh, <laughs> F you, Jen. No, um, hi, Jen. Sorry. How's your lump on your head? <laughs> How's your lump? They're lumping. The lump on your head. You better ask her in German. I hope it's doing better. I'm teaching Missy Jen Chinese now. Zhao Shang Hao. Zhao Shang Hao. Slept on the sofa. Okay. There's Lynn said hi, Jen. Hi, Lynn. The great Lynn Mitchell in the house there. I guess. Uh, Pride of Indiana right there. Pride of the <clears throat> proud vet. Another proud <clears throat> vet. So we got some good waffles coming. We're on waffle number three of four here. So glad to have you all along this morning. Uh, wow, sorry to hear you uh, hit your head there, Susie. You need to put some more ice on that. Did the lump go down? You're lumping. <clears throat> I 
Oh, Missouri. I'm sorry, man. I'm shit. I yeah, Lynn think. is in Missouri. I'm yeah, sorry. I think Lynn's near Springfield or something. <laughs> yeah, down she's there. down south by the Brands area. Missy Jen, how's your leg and foot? Andrea said. It was, uh, I was out getting some food for the birds and it started, and the upper thigh here started to cramp up, so I, I came back and I did water me tomato plants, though. Yeah, we finally got some nice stretch of weather <clears> for <throat> the tomatoes here. And, uh, hey, hey, Irish Marie, nice to see you, sweetie. We're making fun of Paul's bread truck. No, I'm <laughs> not making fun of Paul's bread truck. Good morning, Jefferson T. Rowe. Nice to see you, my friend. We're making waffles this morning. I set you down to some waffles, Jeff, huh? Ooh, ooh. Jeff's like, yeah, ooh, ooh. I'm always curious, Jeff, does uh, Trent give you the family discount if you go to, uh, Eat at his place. Huh? Get the family discount. Not that I care about discounts. Missy <laughs> Jen's like, oh, not much. <laughs> discounts are Am always. Discounts are always good. I love getting stuff for half price. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that's nice, Jeff. Said they're not as good as yours. Wow, nice. Yeah, Jeff said, uh, good morning, Jeff. Andrea said, Jeff, I hope you're good today. Hey, Josh, nice to see you. Good morning to you. It is 9.45 a.m., and we are having breakfast. We don't need to whisper. And uh, just to let you know that uh, Jeff is making a 10-minute YouTube shit video coming up. It's yeah, going to be talking an Talking about S-H-I-T. Yeah, talking about S-H-I-T on uh, YouTube. It'll be a 10-minute uh, mini-movie, sure, to be nominated to the, uh, like mine, London International Film Festival. Good for you, Jeff. You join a steam company, the Great Santa Rosa Fire, or a cinematic experience. Yeah. And all those other great um, That's good to see y'all. Love y'all. Lots of love and kisses. Let's get our next... Uh, I got it shoot backwards. Get our next waffles. You might as well get ready to sit down, Jen. And, uh, waffles are coming. We're going to drop our last one right now. Okay. Always nice to see Jefferson T. Rowe in the house. The original NOE, baby. Network of Evil. James Riley. And company. Clean that up a little bit. Spread a little bit. We're gonna let that one spread. I got a little too much batter in that one. We'll kind of chunk that over to the other side there. And then we'll drop the top there. That one's gonna overflow, but that's all right. That's the way it goes. Jefferson T. Rowe, at your service. Jeff is the original NOE, baby, network of evil. That's what I call the glory days of YouTube. The glory days of YouTube with Jefferson T. Rowe. All right, so Missy Jen doesn't have any cleanup to worry about. That's good. We got our last waffle down. Beach Bubba says, hello. Yeah, <laughs> Beach Bubba. Yeah, I like Beach Bubba. It's fun. You see his place in North Carolina? Beautiful. He sets up that cam in North Carolina. Amazing place. If you all never been to North Carolina, it's really beautiful down on the coast there. A lot of Carolina is very beautiful. Very nice. Nags Head, Corolla, Kitty Hawk. The best, the best national museum I ever saw in my life was at Kitty Hawk. If you ever got the idea, um, he should he should watch our food reviews, Jeff. If, if you ever got to the idea that the Wright brothers were just a couple bumbling, tinkering brothers, when you see some of the advanced mathematics and calculations that they did, 
in their uh, in their workbooks and studies, it was pretty amazing. These guys. So we're just enjoying the sun next Joy's to the tomato. Basking in the sun there. Getting ready to whiz on the tomato plant. There we go. Uh, Geometry rocks. Yeah, I did all the all the studies of shaping wings, wing warping, and all that stuff. They were amazing guys. I've never seen a museum like that in my life that was so damn well done. To see all their notebooks and all the studies they did, you you go in there thinking these guys just were fumbling around. These guys were scientists to the core. These guys were amazing. All right, so if you just joined us, we have uh, I have dough that's already rising for bread. We're going to have for spaghetti tonight using our own sauce from our own tomatoes. Makes it very special. We try to do as much as possible. We try to harvest our own fruit and do all of that. Okay, try to use our own tomatoes. All right, and there's our last big waffle, so we can unplug that. We'll go get you guys switched over to the other side. Yeah, Red Star Yeast, Jeff. It's the best for making uh, shine, too. Let's sit this over here. Try to get a little weight here so that stays in position. There we go. That'll be okay. Maybe that'll stay. So good morning to you guys. Let's get Missy Jen all situated here. Love is in the air. All the people everywhere. Here you go, Jen. Hot off the press there. Your waffle. Put on your butter while it's hot. We got our backup waffles here. I don't usually have bacon and other stuff with this because you know we gotta watch our figures here. Bacon, eggs, all that kind of stuff. So good morning to you. We got the great Jefferson T. Rowe in the house this morning. Sundays today, I don't I don't splurge, but I just eat like I used like a regular a regular kind of meal. Come on, sorry. Oh, guys, you know tomorrow my beautiful Samsung Galaxy Nine Plus arrives here. I can't wait. Let me get my butt pad. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> let's see, any Rosie on here? Yeah, yeah, just yeah, don't do, uh, we it. don't, huh? You're gonna turn it there, come see it. Yeah, I'm here, here I am. Good morning, everybody. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. All right, let's start, let's commence the eating now. My grandma said, let's, just, let's get a purchase on them uh, waffles, y'all. I like to use real butter. Mr. Jen goes for the spreadable. There. Oh, thank you. Love your hair, Roden. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, washed the wig yesterday. So, treated myself to that. I might go out and do some video today using the Black Magic camera, the camera you love to hate. Right, Mrs. Jen? I hate that damn. But you saw some of the yes. saw some of the video it takes and it's like whoa how can you hate it? It is a love hate relationship. Yeah. Jeff Jeff's more talented than people think. He kind of downplays his shit, but uh, Jeff is a Jeff genius. is uh, Jeff doesn't mess around when it comes to computer and uh, editing and all that kind of stuff. I sat there and listened to Jeff do a two and a three hour annotated minute by minute of a hangout on there. Yeah, he's smart. He's smart. 
you know, his, his uh, dad was a big time architect, so, you know, Jeff wasn't raised as a dummy, okay? So, father's a renowned architect. This guy is, uh, you know, how's that waffle, okay? Trained by uh, st Stubbles at the Clown Factory. <laughs> you guys, you guys never seen some of Jeff's clown stuff. If you go back to the early stuff, it will literally make your hair stand on end. <laughs> See, there's one called "It's All It's All Gone to Shit," you know, and it's like it it. It shattered me the night. I think I'm going to see a happy clown, right? Oh, oh shit, it's all turning. Like, oh my God, you know? Yeah, sure. I was like, I'm going to have to do a 5150. <laughs> Hold on, Jeff. <laughs> hey. How you doing, Eddie? No, this is... Uh... <clears throat> This is just what we usually do on Sunday morning. We either have pancake or waffle, or else something I make, cinnamon rolls or something like that. We make so. I've been doing that for years. Yeah, I think American Institute of Architectures. Yeah, I mean uh, Jeff's dad's big time. Big time architecture. He built himself a house. It had a big, big ass pool inside of it. No shame. Yeah, this is my one day I eat regularly. I don't overeat, but I just eat like I'm not on a diet. And you guys have already seen I've lost uh, quite a bit of weight over the last three weeks. That's right, don't be calling Rosie fat now. She's lost a lot of weight. Gotta watch our figures as the guys and girls won't watch. <laughs> as Jeff would say, what the fuck? <laughs> Tight belly, that's it. If I blow up, I'll just wear an oversized uh, tent. Uh, Tight garments. Um, Love is in the air. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. We were a good hangout last night. Really enjoyed that. That was really great last night. <clears throat> I think even Jeff stopped by. I like the way Jeff just bounces from hangouts to hangouts. He did okay, Jeff. You know, I have nothing but admiration for your father. I feel like I kind of know Jeff's family. He had all kinds of videos up at the home that they live in and um, all that. Yep, you wrote, woke up on the right side of the grass. That's right, Andrea. As long as you're... Uh, Above the ground and not under it, it's all good. Unless you're in New Orleans and then you're above ground, right? Some of those graves, scary stuff. Yeah, I have another. Uh, keep me going. Keep me going all day long, baby. Oh, you get that coconut flavor? Mm -hmm. Tell people about Ro Rosie's scratch waffles, huh? Tara couldn't believe it. Yeah, Tara was gonna pay you money for the waffles. They're not the best. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Jeff, that's too funny. Yeah, Jeff is good people. I like, uh, you know, he's, he's really good people. 
thing I like to do is I just like to put just a little bit of this on there. A lot of people saturate their waffles. I don't. It's you look at right. Tiffany, you look just at uh, you look at Tiffany, you look at Trent, Ray Lind, you know, they're all good. Uh, I enjoy them, especially Trent. Kid works hard, he's out there, you gotta give it to him. I don't see Trent too often. I mean, he's actually got a life, I think, so. <laughs> Jeff, when's your uh, when's your brew gonna be ready? No, yep. Ray Ray's not so little bitty anymore. I'm always glad when Jeff can take uh, Ray Ray to the park and stuff and skating and all that. And Trent got his choppers right. Flying came through on that. I don't understand how they um, worry about Elvis is going to take advantage of that. Um, Carl, I don't think you really have to worry. We got boots on the ground down there, so trust me. Also, what you see on Babs on camera, right? I mean, she she's she ain't no dummy, okay? She <laughs> she, she keep it tight to the hand. <laughs> I've known Babs for a lot of years. We've got three people that are within a mile of that place. So there are people that are regularly checking on uh, regularly checking on that stuff. Regularly checking. <laughs> <laughs> you got the royal boot last night. <laughs> I did that. I did my morning shoots. We're talking about coffee time today. You can't have people on there cursing and uh, telling people to suck my whatever. It ain't gonna fly. It ain't gonna fly. I don't care if you're Elvis or Queen Elizabeth II, man. You're out the door. You are out the door, brother. Hey, like being in the house, yeah. And uh, you know, Babs is a nice person, but she ain't no pushover for. Uh, if you think that, uh, if you think that she's gonna fund somebody's lifestyle, forget about it. You know. He reminded me yesterday on the old days when he was sitting on the couch. Nice yeah, he lasted, let's nice. face it, he lasted almost three hours on the hangout, which is pretty amazing. Like I said, I treat every hangout as a separate event. If you come on and you act decent, you're going to be able to stay. You see Berg's two weeks in a row. Berg has had no problem hanging on the hangouts, you know. So, And there's there's people that can't stand the Berg, you know. So it's like it is what it is, right? Is what it is. I'm gonna keep it with me too. Just I can't think of anybody. You can, can you guys think of anybody who doesn't like Missy Jan? I can't think of anybody. Who doesn't like I hate it. my guts. They, they wait till I'm gone. You're a drama queen. They wait till I'm gone. And have a drama me. Get it drama me. Then they come on panel. I have to give Missy Jan a drama me. Again, and Elvis were shirtless at the same. <laughs> there we go. Kelly's like, what if Bergs and Elvis were shirtless at the same time? Why world of sports? The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. Da, da, da. Tonight, Premier Sumo Wrestling, Boyd Stow. Imagine that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the humanity. Hey, Kelly, how are the clubs working out for you? The new sticks you got. Are they working out okay for you? Last I heard, you were going to try to get your, uh, you were going to try to qualify for your card. Why? We should all do a shirtless hang and <laughs> got spray paint. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> 
Jeff, we got to get Jeff to a tanning tanning booth in Wichita, right? Spray him down in there. <laughs> yeah, good. You just don't have that much time to play. Yeah, good. Ryan's mm, always always wanted to show us. I, I don't know. I guess he thinks he's attractive. It's the same way, you know. I pop on bikinis all the time and all that. Uh, we tan under our grow lights. There we go. The thing I found fascinating with Jeff is Jeff would think a lot of people I want to save money on smokes or something like that. Jeff will have the idea. You know what I mean? He'll be like, hey, I'm going to grow my own tobacco in Kansas. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I grew up in Maryland with Maryland, Southern Maryland tobacco and stuff. And Jeff's like producing tobacco in Kansas. Go figure. <laughs> Nothing ever surprises me about Jeff, you know. Jeff's a country boy. I just don't like to see him on the roof of his house and spray down his house to save the air conditioning bill. I tell you, one time Jeff's ass is going to go off the side of that house. Yeah. It's got to be tough to grow. Jeff's like in winter time, I got to take him inside, and then in the summer, I put him outside. You know, it's hard to grow good tobacco. So he's got his tobacco row. His Jeff's favorite channel, mine, though, is uh, Billy Crackhead. That's my favorite. <laughs> Billy Crackhead is classic. <laughs> Billy Crackhead, uh, spraying on my ribs and you saved changing <laughs> Geico, I know, yeah, that's it, I don't think Jeff smokes that much, I mean, compared to, uh, compared to Boris and uh, Dave, <laughs> I mean, shit, Dave's like uh, smoking each hand, you know, Oh, wow, Jeff was breakdancing on stream the other night. That's cool. That's cool. Why is our connection bad? I mean, I'm on... Tomorrow, today's my last day of unlimited data, I think. <clears throat> I'm hoping in December we have a really big Vegas meetup this year. Really hoping we have a big one. Yeah, Jeff has a funny bit. If not a dance, that was me falling down and breaking things. <laughs> Jeff's all right. Jeff's got a heart of gold, man. But don't don't mess with Jeff. I mean, he'll come after you. You know. The stuff he did with Boris is legendary YouTube stuff. I mean, these guys went at it with drafting tools. Um, we usually go the second week, uh, the second week of December. Usually come in on a Thursday and go out on a Sunday. Oh, Jen's Jen spends part time in a chair. <clears throat> Yeah, Carl. No, she's just uh, taking it kind of easy because of her infusions. So. Her, uh, her left leg is a little gamey, so she's just making sure she's not going to take a flyer or something here. Take a header. We can check on the, uh, the dough for the bread tonight, too, for our spaghetti. That would be great, you know, flights are real cheap that time of year, 
you have the National Rodeo Association there, about the only people in town, but it's, it's mostly over by the time we get down there. So, you know, the, the hotels are dirt cheap. We usually stay at the El Cortez, maybe at the Golden Nugget. We'd like to be downtown. guys see how fast that's already risen Look at that that's gonna be some kick ass bread tonight we're gonna let that rise another hour or so and then we're gonna punch it down turn it let it rise again punch it down shape it put it on the pan and bake it Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, you can stay at your son's uh, apartment there. That's awesome. Three bedroom. So all you got is cheap airfare from a lot of people come from Michigan to uh, fly out of Detroit and stuff to uh, Vegas. Ever do the drag brunch? At, uh... No, I never did that, uh, Kelly. Did you do that? Senior Frogs is at the Treasure Island, isn't it? No. I wouldn't mind doing that. It'd be a lot of fun. Got to get Kelly back to the Piranha Club. Oh, but you wanted to. Where did you find all your quotes? Uh, yeah, he's been there. <clears throat> yeah, you know it would really be a coup to have Jeff in, in Vegas. Can you imagine Jeff in Vegas? He'd be like, I hate all you MFs. Get away from me. <laughs> Jeff would have a meltdown. <laughs> go to the Palazzo. <laughs> Be like, I don't want to be with these freaks, these, these <laughs> guys that think they're girls and all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that would be okay. Jeff's yours. That's it. No, you can wait till the last minute to book it. I think the economy is going to be in the dumper by fall, so I think it'll probably be pretty cheap by that time. I never book anything early. Vinny G, good morning, my friend. There's the pride of Australia. Oh, and Vinny G is quite an accomplished guy. Little by little, every week that goes by, a little more Vinny G comes out. Yep. Just be like, I to I'd be, I'm tossing balloons and collecting dollars. That's it. Yeah. And beer, that's it. That's a lot of it. Yeah, it's a good time when we go down there. Good time. Wichita, Kansas, baby. Wichita, Kansas. Not far from um, Debbie uh, Ariola down there. Debbie Ariola is in Emporia. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, Kelly's like, she'll share a room with you. There you go, Jeff. Imagine Jeff has one of his meltdowns. I hate these. I'm never doing this again. I'm going home, you know. I'm getting my own damn hotel room, you know. Get my own hotel room. Yeah, you haven't lived till you had a Jeff went down to a, a, a Jeff meltdown. My favorite one reason I'm not meeting Rosie. These freaks that think they're girls to come. <laughs> I can't be seen around town and all that. You know what, Jeff? Sure you can't, baby. <laughs> She mailed Rosie O'Kelly. Jeff always cracks me up. What if we melted down at the same time on here? Wouldn't that be crazy? Okay, uh, Lindsay was born in Hutchinson, Kansas. That's where they have the big underground national repository. Yeah, the uh, salt underneath is salt storage, totally dry. A lot of backup government stuff is down there. That's it. 
Hutchinson, Kansas. Yeah, that's where they got the big, I think that's it. They got the big underground salt salt storage mines there. Kansas is an interesting state. It just doesn't appear to be from I-70. You know, but Wichita is definitely a cool place. I'd love to explore Wichita. That'd be a lot of fun around Wichita. And uh, Manhattan, where University of Kansas is up there. Shawnee, Michigan it should be a state of its own. Yeah, it should be. Oh yeah, his cousin worked in underground storage and vineyard that you could drive through. That's it, seriously. That's cool. That's awesome sauce. Oh, we're definitely coming to Michigan. We want to do the, um, want to go up to, through Oregon and Washington State and then go through Idaho and then up to, uh, South Dakota and then up to North Dakota and then across to Minnesota and then Michigan right there absolutely Wisconsin all those places yeah you have problems with coyotes in your area um they're around we have we have more problems with bobcats and stuff and uh, mountain lions just randomly appearing in people's yards and stuff so they come in hunting dogs and cats to eat. Go to Maine, Aggieville. There is a park nearby with park benches you can pay. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely coming up. Uh, you know, I want to see Greenfield. I want to see the Henry Ford Museum. I want to see, uh, you know, a lot of. I'm very interested in the industrial history of that uh, area, particularly Ford Motor Company up there. So. And I don't know if they give tours of like General Motors uh, headquarters anymore and all that stuff. So, tons of history there. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, Greenfield was a put together, you know, Henry Ford's childhood and stuff. I think it opened in 1932. I what the Green Bay, they make battleships and stuff. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see um, uh, Madison, I'd like to see Milwaukee, Sheboygan, uh, all those Green Bay, all that. Yeah, it's a very interesting area. It's cool, it's living in the Seattle area, so you get, uh, you, get, you get wildlife and stuff up there. The only wildlife Jeff gets is his crazy neighbors and... <laughs> Jeff used to go out with his gun and just randomly shoot it into the night sky in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel Garcia, nice to see you. Yeah, Jeff is a national treasure of Kansas. Uh, yeah, yeah, you also have Bigfoots up that way. Yeah, why is it so hard to get a, a good video of a Bigfoot, right? They're cool, Sasquatch. Sasquatch or, or an alien. Why does everything have to be like all mystery at nighttime in the night sky? Why can't one of these sons of bitches just come down and land on the rancho in the back and then I can get a video of it before I'm vaporized back there? <clears throat> Missy generally like, Rosie, go out and check. See what the hell is going on out there. <laughs> No, Jeff T. Rowe doesn't do vlogger puppets. No, no. <laughs> there we go, Carl. <laughs> oh, man. Carl's on, Carl's on fire. Anyway, guys, I'm going to um, shut it down. I've got a lot of stuff uh, uh, to do. I want to go ahead and take the Black Magic Pocket Cinema camera out today and try to get a little bit of video. Tomorrow, the Samsung Galaxy 9 Plus arrives. It's gonna be a real game changer for my videography and stuff. Love you guys being along. Andrea, Kelly, um, Susie, Jefferson, all you guys on here, Gabriel, Carl. Always, I love hanging out with Carl the Cock. is the best of the best of the best. I don't know whether it's Carl the Cock or Joe King. They vibe for the funniest uh, shit. Lynn, nice to see you. Jeff, good to see you. Um, Kelly, have a good one. No donation required, thank you. Always nice to get some of your wisdom. 
and we will see you guys around. Make sure to catch the morning chooch if you didn't see it. My philosophy on hangouts. And uh, whoa. 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 whoa, that was my bad. I'm cleaning. <laughs> there we go. All right, from your so, big boomy girls, have a wonderful. There's a spaceship. Woo. <laughs> have a good Sunday.